Very good afternoon. An inquest has ruled that Claire Squires, who died during last year's London Marathon, died as a result of taking a legal performance enhancing drug. The hearing was told that the 30-year-old had consumed a popular stimulant called Jack 3D for the race. She collapsed a mile from the finish line last April. The news of her death led to a surge in donations to her Just Giving page, which raised nearly a million pounds. Her partner called for greater regulation of sports supplements. The outcome of the inquest left us feeling a little numb. Claire took part in the marathon to do some good and challenge herself in the same way she did for many other events. Claire was passionately against the use of drugs and would never, ever have taken anything that would have caused her harm or even worse, risked her life. She innocently took a supplement which at the time was entirely legal and widely available on the high street and somewhat worryingly apparently used by so many others. It's clear that there needs to be far better supervision of the so-called health foods and supplements industry so that no more tragedies like this happen again, causing other families to have to go through what we've been through this past year. Jason Farrell is at Southwark Coroner's Court for us this afternoon. Um, hello to you, Jason. Tell us more about what we heard in court. Well, what became very uh, clear in this inquest was um, that Claire Squires may well have been alive today if she hadn't put this supplement uh, in her drink, and also that she had no idea of the dangers of this supplement, which was subsequently banned, uh, subsequently taken out of the product uh, that is still available, but now no longer has DMA -A in it, um, and that she wasn't someone who generally used supplements. Uh, she had trained very hard. Her boyfriend said she'd never stopped training. Uh, she'd climbed Kilimanjaro. She'd been to the Belfast Marathon. She'd done the London Marathon uh, before and run it in uh, just over four hours, which uh, any runner would know is a pretty damn fine time. And she was looking to beat that. Uh, so she said to her boyfriend, she looked online uh, for this uh, supplement, uh, Jack 3D, which she bought. Um, and she's put it in a drink and she said, I'm, I'm only going to take this if I hit a wall, but I do want to try and get round uh, a little bit quicker. And toxicology tests show that she did take this uh, substance. And all the experts who've given evidence here today, uh, one after another, have said that this would have contributed uh, to her death. We've subsequently uh, contacted the MHRA to ask them why uh, this drug was banned as a, as, a, as a recreational drug. It is still available for medicinal purposes. And they have told us uh, that it can cause uh, physiological effects on the body, narrowing the arteries and raising the heart rate. And it has been linked to suspected adverse drug reactions worldwide, ranging from shortness of breath uh, to heart attacks. And in fact, the US Army, and this came up in the inquest, the US Army uh, found that some of their soldiers were taking uh, this drug during rigorous training, and they'd found a number of suspicious deaths. Uh, and the US Army had banned its use, and they were really the first uh, to notice a problem with this drug, DMAA. You're talking about the family. that they're, they're absolutely devastated, of course, by her death. It was a death that touched the whole nation, wasn't it? Well, that's right. I mean, obviously, she was um, very, very loved by her family and her friends, but that affection uh, was transformed uh, to the nation. Uh, she was raising money uh, from the, for the Samaritans. Her brother had died um, of an overdose, um, and that was a, a charity that was very close to her heart. Um, she'd only raised £500 um, ahead of doing the run, um, but obviously this public outpouring, p social networks uh, transported her um, Just Giving page uh, you know, worldwide, uh, and she raised uh, around a million pounds uh, for the Samaritans subsequent to her death. And I think people thought, and there was speculation um, in the newspapers, uh, that she'd had an irregular heartbeat. And in fact, an acupuncture expert uh, who she'd gone to recorded that she had a regular, an irregular heartbeat and had known about this and had gone ahead uh, to do the run anyway. Um, but in fact, what the experts here have said is that there was corroboration of that. She actually didn't go to see a GP to check this out, um, but they feel uh, that because she'd done so many runs before and she, she trained so heavily, that that irregular heartbeat would have cropped up. Some other problems would have cropped up around it. Uh, and they feel, and the, and the coroner 
in his statement said that that had no impact on what happened to her during this marathon run and that it was the rigorous exercise combined with this substance, DMAA. And he said that she died raising money for charity, but he also ho ho hoped uh, that it, this inquest would also raise awareness about the dangers of DMAA. Okay, thank you.